This is the third part in a series on the treason of S.B. Senneville, 1867, which proposes the ability to arrest people at will forever without trial in the United States or elsewhere. And it's much worse than that. Can I ask, uh, in my view, treason is things that subvert our Constitution and our Bill of Rights, but the Constitution specifically, and that SB 1867 is a subversion of the Constitution and is therefore treasonous for anyone who fully understands what they're doing, who would remove these rights from our people. Um, it's the most, uh, the greatest crime possible because these rights have had to be built up over 400 years and they're precious and somewhat unique in the world. Uh, so it's the ultimate absolute uh, betrayal of us by our leaders. There's nothing they could do worse. So what is the, what did it end up happening? So uh, when I last left off with you folks, the understanding was that Levin and McCain were the bad guys and the White House was trying to moderate it. And we all were cynical and wanted to see what would happen. So what did happen it, uh, is that uh, Alex Jones, perhaps amongst others, uh, brought to my attention valuable uh, service, which is that Levin said on the Senate floor that he was either had removed, his group had removed, or was willing to remove the U.S. citizen provision. The White House required they keep it in. Uh, and then the president said he had reservations about it when he signed it. Uh, so it was the height of duplicity, height of lying and deception. Now, Frank Franken uh, didn't vote for it. And he wrote a book called Lies and the Lying Liars Who Tell Them. Um, and so he, he, it would be really fun to get, I mean, it's not a funny subject, but it would be really interesting to see if he felt this the way I do, which is that Obama is utterly being a lying liar. Uh, and, and beyond all, it just it continues to blow your mind how unethical this man appears to be. Um, it just blows your mind. Um, I suppose some progressives would want to put it that way, like uh, they wouldn't want me to attack his character, but I don't see how you can avoid it. Um, they would want me to say that he's been uh, bullied by the establishment or something. Okay, so what is it? In, what happened is that this morphed now into what's called the, uh, a section 1021 and 1022 of the National Defense Authorization Act of 2012. Uh, and what it says is, just like I said before, if you support al-Qaeda, the Taliban, or associated forces, or engage in hostilities against the United States or its coalition partners, insanely broad, I already think that they could make a case that I did this because I supported, uh, I was against NATO and Libya. Um, and anyone who commits a belligerent act against the U.S. or its coalition allies under the law of war without trial until the end of the hostilities authorized. So just, I think this would put me at risk of being detained forever without trial um, because I wrote messages of support. You could loosely construe them as such over YouTube uh, messaging with people that might have been active in uh, supporting the uh, legitimate government, the sovereign government of Libya, maybe not legitimate, but certainly sovereign government of the German idea. The text also authorizes trial by military tribunal or transfer into the custody of control of the person's country of origin and uh, or transfer to any other foreign country or any other foreign entity. An amendment to the act that what is explicitly forbidden the indefinition without trial of American citizens was rejected by the Senate. Uh, so anybody who rejected that would be the worst skunk in the world. Uh, pretty amazing. And the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union, is where you really want to look at this stuff if you want detail. I'll summarize it and get off of the microphone here. Uh, the worst thing about it, in Section 1022, uh, all persons arrested and detained according to the provisions of 1021, including those in U.S. sales, whether detained indefinitely or not, are required to be held by the U.S. Armed Forces, which is a specific violation of an age-old requirement that the military not be allowed to operate uh, in 
in the homes and the lives of American citizens. The, this is a complete subversion of the Fourth Amendment. The law affords the option to have U.S. citizens detained by the armed forces, but this requirement does not extend to them, as with foreign persons. Lawful resident aliens may or may not be required to be detained by the armed forces on the basis of the conduct taking place in the United States. So, <clears throat> so Americans don't have to be detained by the armed forces, but everybody else does. Um, tourists, for example, foreigners in the U.S. Um, but there, there's an, the only thing uh, that's comforting is it's optional, which isn't as much a violation of posse comitatus, which is a law that the military is uh, supposed to be, just like CIA was not supposed to do domestic spying, it was only international. So this is extremely creepy. So, Obama expressed his administration's opposition. Uh, it's just pull bullshit. Uh, objects of military custody provision, which would appear to manic military custody for certain class of terrorism suspects. Moreover, planning military custody required individuals outside inside the U.S. and some uh, would raise serious and unsettled legal questions. The inconsistent with the federal does not patrol the streets without a threat to veto the suffrage. We'll argue that while the authorities grant the authorization for the use of military force against terrorism, including the detention. Authority are essential to our ability to protect the American people because the authorities codified the section of the U.S. administration without leave codification and that is some risk. Udall tried to get rid of uh, the uh, definite detention of U.S. citizens. The law adopt later adopted by 98 to 1 vote uh, compromise amendment based upon a proposal by Diane Feinstein, which preserves current law. Concerning U.S. citizens lawful resident aliens detained with the U.S. After the Senate House Compromise Text explicitly ruled out any limitation of the President's authorities, but also removed the requirement of military detention for terrorism suspects arrested in the United States. Why did you have this statement saying it would not veto the bill? So basically, uh, Feinstein tried to get this lifted off of U.S. citizens and lawful resident aliens within the United States, um, and they, uh, they say it's optional because they didn't want to limit the president's powers in any way. Well, Senator Feinstein and others have argued that current law does not allow the indefinite detention of American citizens. The Obama administration's Levin and McCain have argued that it may still allow it. Uh, Obama's signing statement of signing the act chiefly because it authorizes funding for the defense and uh, vital national security programs are sent to despite having serious reservations to provision to regulate the detention, interrogation, and prosecution of suspected terrorists, which is actually a weak, weak signing statement to cover his ass. And the controversy, um, I, I don't know if they get into, okay. The ACLU has responded that despite claims by the Obama administration the contrary, the statute contains a sweeping worldwide indefinite detention provision without temporal or geographic limitations that can be used by this and future presidents to military detain people captured far from any battlefield. The ACLU further commented that while President Obama issued a signing statement saying it's serious reservations about the provisions, the statement only applies to how the administration uses the authorities granted by the NDAA. Um, now I don't know, so it doesn't look like they talk about the hypocrisy that he demanded the very provisions that he removed. Um, so, you sh uh, I'm afraid that beautiful clip about Levin, you're going to have to get out of Alex Jones, which is, uh, let's see if I can just give it a quick jot. Alex Jones, oh, well, let's do Levin and the level A admits. Okay. Okay. Good night. You'll uh, you just look up Carl Levin, and you'll see him saying that Obama administration specifically required that he put in this measure. Okay. Good night, and good luck.